it's hot, humid. I'm sweating. Just got a, some oak from a dead oak tree that fell down on some electric wires. And too hot a weather to be working up wood, I say. And it's the last wagon load of round bales coming back from some I did up the road. But this is hot. This can only mean one thing. It's a normal summer. What do you think? It's supposed to be hot and humid. There ain't no man-made global warming. All that horse manure. This is just normal. This is weather. This is what you got to deal with in the summer months. And I love summer. Long days, sunshine for 12 or 13 hours. Whew. Nothing better. More than that, too. I don't know, from 5.30 in the morning till 9.30 at night, when it's the longest, here. But, uh, whoo. Summertime. That's my kind of weather. My time of year. Well, I can do without quite as much humidity. Really, because I sweat terrible. But anyway. See what kind of mischief we can get in today. The dog's got their oral cooling systems going. Got their tongues hanging out and panting. You know it's hot and humid. Hey, come inside the house. It's kind of sprinkling out there a little bit. So I thought I'd come in and uh, do a little short video. Um, oh, hey, you like my shirt? Take a look at that shirt. I still play with blocks. I don't know how you can not like a shirt like that. This is for sale. We're selling these shirts. If anybody would like one, uh, we're going to put up a little link there you can hit on and uh, buy one of them. And if you want one with a, a red block or an orange block or something like that, or blue, uh, you have to buy it somewhere else. You can get a green one here. That's it. So, but we, If there's a demand, we might change that up. But Anyhow, I'm uh, going to talk a little bit about the spirit of deer power and our tractor pull up there at Anne Arundel Fairgrounds. Take a look at this. See that date? 1984. That's paying back. See that picture? That is yours truly. Uh, where am I at? Deer power. Bill Grimes of Davidsonville. Competed in the first tractor pull at the Anne Arundel County Fairgrounds in Crownsville. There's photographic evidence at the county fair. It was a 32nd annual fair, but it never had pulls because where they were having it didn't allow tractor pulls. But uh, they finally got their own grounds and they weren't at a state park anymore, so they got the first tractor pull. That's Spirit of Deer Power. I had back then, back in the day. Of course, I called it the Spirit of Deer Power because I had bought Donnie Thomas's old Deer Power 1 and used parts all for that to build this. Didn't run it real long, but uh, got a year or so out of it. And, uh, and I moved on to building that 50-20 buckshot. But after a while, uh, I guess around 2010, 2011, somewhere, I put him back together. Looked like this. That's what it looked like then. Now I'm there pulling at the county fair again on the fairgrounds track. And uh, I guess this is around 2013, 20, no, 2011, 2012, somewhere around there. Anyhow, I put it back together and ran it down. And as you've seen from some of the videos, uh, it's put together again, the Spirit of Deer Power. Uh, looks a little different. It's got a wide front end and a roll cage on it, but... Um, it's the same tractor as a 40 years ago pulling at the county fair and this is a 40th anniversary of pulling there and I'm going to be running the same tractor. 
figured that was an interesting thing. The pool is going to be on uh, September 14th, starting at 12 o'clock. That's a uh, Saturday. So if you can make it, come on. Uh, hopefully there'll be a good turnout, good weather. So, uh, and if anybody wants to lend a hand, <laughs> we're going to be short-handed. We probably need some help. So, anyhow, uh, Crownsville, Maryland, off Route 178 at the uh, Anne Arundel County Fairgrounds. Maybe we'll see you there. I got some pictures uh, in an old uh, album of when I was redoing the Spirit of Deer Power back in, uh, I don't know, 2010, 2011. So. We can take a look at it. Yeah, had them stripped down to the bare, well, not the bare rear, <laughs> but the main case there. And uh, you can see it. Took apart just one of the axle housing sitting there. Taking them apart. And uh, got your ring gear there coming out. And there's a peek in the transmission. Uh, got rid of all the slow gears. <laughs> And you can see that one gear with the straight teeth. Here's another picture of it. That's my seven and a half gear or whatever. And uh, had to do some grinding on to make it fit, but it works just fine. There's the bottom end. Got my piston. Got my camshaft. The parts coming together. There's the old flywheel and clutch out of. Donnie Thomas's uh, deer power tractor. That's what's going in there. And my pistons and it's the old Mac injection pump. There it is, getting it set up on the block. There you got your Crower Glide getting it set up, getting ready to push the halves together. Yeah, we got them bolted up. And I got my Got, looks like I got my turbo set up on there and the lines. There he's coming together. Yep. You can see the pedestal I made out of a John Deere B front pedestal. Cut the top and bottom off and welded a four inch pipe in there and that was my front end. My narrow front. Kind of look at him from the front. I had put a little bit of a roll bar on there. I was figuring I was going pretty fast for a narrow front with the new kind of slids. That's the seat I had on him at the time. Yep. And there's a picture of the front pedestal there. Uh, you can see it in all its glory. <laughs> that was the frame and the side panels. I've a drug them out of the weeds. It's uh, got a nice patina on there. You can see I called it a 4320 back in the day. And uh, there's the manifolds I'd worked on and the turbo and. <laughs> It's coming together. Of course, you all had seen the uh, videos of when I redid it this time. If you haven't seen it, go back and look at uh, some of the videos uh, of working on the old puller, something like that. Anyhow, figured I would just give you a little info on the pull coming up and show you a few things about uh, the Spirit of Deer Power when I redid it the first time a few years ago. All right, catch you later. See ya. And years later, we got all the parts back together that we had left and recreated a legend. Your power one. It's a normal summer. What do you think? It's supposed to be hot and humid. Horse manure. This is just normal. This is weather. This is what you got to deal with in the summer months. And I love summer. Long days, sunshine for 12 or 13 hours. Whew. Nothing better. More than that, too. Done changed my shirt four times already today. Just can't stand having my wet shirt on. Anyhow. I ain't going to tell you what I've done with my underwear. Uh, none of your business. What brought that up? Well, keep your mind out of the gutter. <laughs>